Timestamps are in the description below. If you decide to click on one, it will take you to the news article of your choice. Hello everyone, Stephen Clark here, back with another news from Thailand and Southeast Asia. Hope you're all safe from the Chinese coronavirus. Very sad times. The disease-ridden exotic animal markets in China reopen. Shoot them dead. Filipinos President Duterte to lock down violators. Australia seizes faulty coronavirus equipment imported from China. The Thai leader, Priyat, orders halt to arrivals from overseas to curb China's coronavirus from spreading. Thailand imposes new curfew rules. But first up, the Chinese Communist Party reopened the wet markets, the epicenter for the coronavirus. Yes, where it all started. Ground zero, if you like. The disease-ridden exotic animal market which were the source of the killer coronavirus have reopened in China. Despite their existence causing the global pandemic, which has killed tens of thousands of people. Wet markets in Wuhan, China, were believed to be the source of the coronavirus outbreak after the virus was traced to the consumption of bats or the pangolin. Wet markets in Wuhan at the moment remain shut. Stalls in other parts of the country are reopening, with some advertising bats, toads, lizards, for medical purposes. With other parts of the world buckling under the coronavirus pandemic, Chinese Communist Party has since claimed to have suppressed the outbreak. And if you can believe that, if you can believe in the Easter Bunny. The nation's sophistication can be measured by how they treat their animals. The Chinese Communist Party's dishonesty and negligence has resulted in unleashing COVID-19 on the rest of the world. You have to question the decision of the Chinese Communist Party destroying evidence when it became clear there was an outbreak on their hands. The Chinese Communist Party initial cover-up included destroying lab samples established in December the cause and explanation viral infection in the Hubei province. And the question remains, how many lives would have been saved if the Chinese Communist Party had listened to experts instead of trying to silence them and putting them in jail and some of them mysteriously dying? It is imperative we do not let the Chinese Communist Party to rewrite history as it emerges from the other side of the crisis. The Chinese Communist Party, through its ineptitude, dishonesty and negligence, unleashed a virus that will leave tens of thousands dead and likely cause a global recession like the world has never seen before. The rest of the world have to rebuild their own engineering and industrial bases and stop dealing with the Chinese Communist Party. You cannot believe anything the Chinese Communist Party has to say, especially their propaganda machine. The Chinese people are hardworking and wonderful, but not the Chinese Communist Party. Shoot them dead. Manila, Philippines President Rodrigo Duterte has warned violators of coronavirus lockdown measures they could be shot dead for causing trouble and said abuse of medical workers was a serious crime that would be not tolerated. In a television address, President Rodrigo Duterte said it was vital everyone cooperated with the following home quarantine measures as authorities tried to slow and contain the Chinese coronavirus and spare the country's fragile health system from being overwhelmed. It is getting worse, so once again I'm telling you the seriousness of the problem that you must listen, Duterte said. My orders to the police and military, if there is trouble and there is an occasion where they fight back and your life is in danger, shoot them dead. Is that understood? Dead. 
Instead of causing trouble, I will bury you. Shoot them dead, President Duterte said. His comments came after residents in poor areas of Manila who were protesting about the insufficient government food aid. They also followed outrage among the medical community about social stigma and instances of hospital workers suffering physical abuse and discrimination, which Duterte said must stop. The National Police Chief on Thursday said police understood that Duterte was demonstrating his seriousness about public order and that nobody will be shot. The Filipino people are scared and they don't need to be threatened to be shot as well. Shoot them dead! Australians seize faulty coronavirus equipment imported from China. Authorities have begun seizing Chinese-made faulty face masks and other protective clothing that is being exported to Australia to help fight the spread of the Wuhan and Chinese coronavirus. An official has dubbed some of the intercepted Chinese personal protective equipment dodgy. Spain, Turkey, the Netherlands have rejected Chinese-made protective equipment. Australia has banned face masks, gloves, gowns, goggles, alcohol wipes and hand sanitizer exports. Australia has banned face masks, gloves and gowns and goggles, alcohol wipes and hand sanitizer exports. In recent weeks, the Australian Border Force officers have intercepted several deliveries of personal protective equipment that are found to be counterfeit or otherwise faulty. Law enforcement officers had already seized 800,000 masks with a combined value of more than 1.2 million on the Australian market. They were quoted as saying, we started seeing this stuff arrive roughly three weeks ago when news of the Chinese coronavirus was really taking off, an official said. The dodgy material is coming via air cargo because there is a backlog of sea freight at Australian ports. The officers stressed that not all Chinese products were considered faulty and other Chinese coronavirus equipment were still passing Australian standards and were let in. The federal government on Wednesday officially banned the export of protective equipment such as masks, gloves and gowns from Australia during the coronavirus outbreak. New rules are also stopping people from buying up supplies of protective equipment to then resell locally at an unfair price. It has also sought to boost supplies by opening up the nation's emergency medical stockpile and increasing domestic production. This will stop Wuhan Chinese coronavirus faulty equipment from arriving in Australia. Thai Prime Minister General Priyat Achinachat orders a halt to arrival from overseas to curb the coronavirus and will be put into effect immediately and until at least April the 15th. Thailand will ban all new arrivals due to the Chinese coronavirus outbreak. The government is focusing its attempts to curb the spread of the Chinese coronavirus on Thais and foreigners entering Thailand from overseas. The Foreign Ministry has been assigned to work out measurements to restrict their arrivals for the next two weeks. According to a spokesman of the Centre for COVID-19 Situation Administration, a spokesman of the Centre for COVID-19 Situation Administration said Thais who return from overseas and foreign visitors are partly responsible for the continuing rise in the number of new infections. Though the number of travellers from overseas has significantly declined, Prime Minister Chinachat believes more needed to be done to stem overseas arrivals in order to further flatten the curve. Thai citizens who recently returned from Italy were tested positive for the coronavirus, with another 50 people who have come into contact with them being quarantined. As many as 47 of the 132 Thai Muslims in southern Thailand who returned from a religious function outside of Kuala Lumpur last month were tested positive. Four of them have died. More than 1,000 people subsequently had to be quarantined as a result. Four executives of the CP Group, returning from recent negotiations for the Tusco deal, unfortunately one of them died when infected by the Chinese coronavirus. These figures only reinforce the concern that the spread of the deadly virus cannot possibly be curbed if people from overseas continue to be allowed in without more stringent screening. 
Restrictions were previously imposed for Thais returning from abroad as well as foreigners. This included all ties to get a fit to fly doctor certificate and a mandatory self quarantine for 14 days after their arrival. Now, foreigners arrivals are required to also produce US 100,000 health insurance and mandatory quarantine at state designed hospitals for 14 days. On the street, the military, which is responsible for monitoring daily commuting, reported that commuting in the city on weekends has dropped only 20%. The result doesn't sound very good. Centre for COVID-19 Situation Administration commented. <laughs> Thailand imposes nationwide curfew to curb the coronavirus. Bangkok. Thailand will impose a nationwide curfew from Friday to try to curb the spread of the coronavirus. The Prime Minister said on Thursday adding that people had to adapt to survive. The 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. curfew, which will run indefinitely, is the latest measure by the government to curb gathering and have people stay at home as much as possible. Why the strange times, you ask? That's when the young citizens of Thailand like to party. The curfew is aimed more at the younger generation to help prevent the Chinese coronavirus spreading throughout the country. We prioritise health over freedom, said Priyat. We might not feel as comfortable as before, but we all need to adapt to survive and have social responsibilities so that we can make it through this crisis. Priyat also said he would ensure that hospitals get the supplies they need. Describing medical staff as the vanguards against an invisible enemy. In the television address, Priyat also asked all Thai citizens abroad to delay returning to Thailand until April the 15th in a bid to stop imported cases. Since March the 1st, Thailand has seen a rising number of cases who became infected abroad before returning to Thailand and has put nearly 2,000 people who came into contact with them into quarantine. Last week, Thailand closed all borders crossings from everywhere except for Thai nationals, diplomats and their families, and foreigners with permits allowing them to work in Thailand. 